Hello, my name is Megan Quillen, and today we will be exploring the new Google Sites website and all the features that it has to offer you as a classroom teacher and also for students. The new Google Sites has a lot to offer when it comes to appearance and the ability to bring things in from your Google Drive. Everything that you have stored already in your Google Drive can easily be added to your Google site at any time. Collaboration is at its best when you can put all the documents that have already been shared amongst a team or a group of students and now combine it into a website that now allows everyone to be seeing the process as they go. To get started with the new Google Sites, you are going to want to begin in your Google Drive. Once you have signed in to your Google Drive, you are going to locate the blue button that says New. Once you tap on the button, you'll notice that you have several options. This is also where you go to create several of the other Google Suite tools as well. For now, I'm going to slide down over to More and then slide over to the new Google Sites. Once I tap on it, it opens up into a new window but you can see that it actually is still living now in my Google Drive. So anytime I want to go back and edit it, it will be there for me to do so. Over here are your options to insert things that live in your Google Drive. As you notice that it has several symbols that you may be familiar with. So if I wanted to bring in materials from my Google Drive, I had simply just choose the icon that does so. From there, I can open up into the folder that I have prepared ahead of time for this site that I plan to create. Notice that I have not only image files, but other files as well. I have a Google Doc and also a Google Slide Deck to choose from as well. As I choose these items, they go directly into my Google site, and then I'm able to manipulate them however I'd like. As you can see, this can be a very useful tool when it comes to collaboration and for students to showcase their work and teachers to bring out content as well. Use the insert menu to add content to your site and you can move the content and change the site as, as often as you need to. You may move things around. You can drag them across wherever you'd like as well. Very easy to work with others by going up to the share button that's typically found in most Google Suite apps. From there, you just locate the email addresses of who it is that you would like to invite. You can also, share, you can also change the share preferences here as well. Once you are happy with your site and you're ready for others to see it, then you can click Publish. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the new Google Sites. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description. Thank you and see you next time.